Welcome back. If you hit the mall, you'll see desperate retailers still slashing prices to try to get shoppers to open their wallets. 20% off, 50% off, 75% off. But it may be too little too late. CBS News correspondent Bianca Solorzano reports. 15. Shoppers were taking advantage of deep discounts this weekend as stores cut prices up to 75% in some places. But were you looking for sales? Yes, I was. I was looking for at least half off and I found it. $250 jacket for 60 bucks. No, oh, yeah, I can't believe it. Thank you. But there were no Christmas miracles this weekend for the struggling retail industry. There really wasn't anything that could have turned the season around here in the last couple or three days. A shaky economy forced many consumers to cut back. Retail sales through Christmas Eve came in worse than expected, down as much as 8% compared to 2007. And there is more bad news for retailers. Many of these shoppers are here to bring back their presents. Analysts predict the number of people returning and exchanging gifts will be up 40% compared to last year. For those consumers that need the cash over the gift, they'll return it and keep the cash. And unfortunately, in many households, that's a important uh, consideration for them this year because cash is so tight. Official holiday sales numbers will be out next week. In the meantime, shoppers can expect the discounts to continue into 2009 until new merchandise comes to stores in February. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, New York. We're joined by Dana Telsey, CEO and Chief Retail Analyst at Telsey Advisory Group. Dana, good morning to you. Good morning. So uh, that sounded bleak. Are there any positive numbers out there or was this as bad, if not worse, than we thought? This is as bad, probably a little bit worse than we thought. The only positive numbers we'll see next week come from the discounters. Discounters like Walmart are gaining share. But with all these sales, when you see numbers like that, 75% off, did it do anything to help at least for the last minute surge? It probably helped just a little bit, but not enough. It certainly didn't help profits. It helped retailers get inventory off the shelves. In this, I guess, this dire economic time, though, was there a number? Was there, okay, we're off 10% or we're off 20%. Was there kind of a, a number that was be considered, okay, not so bad. We knew numbers were going to be down. I mean, are we falling below that even? The expectation was that numbers would be down 2 to 3%. Being down more than 2 to 3% is unprecedented because even a decline is something we haven't seen. Just 2 to 3% though? I mean, that was what they really anticipated considering the economic situation this country is in right now? Yes, especially given how big Walmart is and how big some of the other discounters are. That was expected to help, but it didn't help as much as expected. Is this basically, we, we hear in Bianca's piece there about people now returning, those numbers exceeding 40%. Is it people just basically needing cash and yeah, maybe they could use a sweater or the jacket, but I'd rather return it and get the money. For some people of certain income levels, that is it. On average, returns typically account for 9% of sales and that up to account for 7% of sales. This year, it's almost 9% of sales, which is greater than expected. And the one thing we did hear from a number standpoint, apparel, electronics, both abysmal numbers. Was there any sector that actually did well this holiday season? There's no sector in particular that held up except for Uggs boots. All Uggs boots were selling at full price. <laughs> that's it? That's the only, that's the only silver lining is that's Uggs boots? That's the only one we heard. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, how about returns? Um, we talked about that a second ago, but are, are we looking at dramatic increases over years past, or is that 40% number, like I just mentioned, pretty much commensurate with what we see? 40 year year? feels a little bit high. We're seeing a double digit increase, more on the lower end, 10 to 20%, which is still a big number from what we've seen. How about gift cards? Gift cards are dropping this year. Gift card sales were expected to be down 6% at the beginning of the season. They'll probably be down double digits. People could buy a better quality gift at a lower price and give that gift. And final question for you. We see all these sale prices. Will we ever pay full price for anything again? Have we been spoiled by all these numbers that we now see? Full price is one of the things retailers have to figure out. It'll be a lower full price going forward. All right, Dana Telsey, thanks so much. Good to see you.